So they have Soundwave. They're trying to get Ratchet. And at some point, a trade is going to happen. But when they trade back Soundwave, his head will be totally empty. Just like that girl from G1. What was her name? Astoria? It's a stupid name. Anyway. Ew. Don't say children with that tone. Children. Yes. Excellent. July 4th, by the way. I was up all night. I intend to die on that day, just like the Founding Fathers. Just not this year. Two of the Founding Fathers died on the same day, July 4th, of the same year. Look it up, people. My shoes need polishing. What is that accent? Pick an accent. You know, being an asshole might not be the best way to win him over. I'm just saying, Megatron. Put it on my side. Fine. Crunk out. You have my full permission to spread shaving cream all over me. Just saying. <laughs> he's creeping me out. Put a bag over his head. He wants to recreate the Unicron Trilogy. You're right, no one ever wants to recreate the Unicron Trilogy. Meanwhile, Laserbeak was. Did you really just figure out about the whole cyber mesh, whatever it was? Hey, it's Epcot! Boy, Disney's hit hard times. But I'm pregnant. I am so pregnant. I think it's bulkheads, but I'm not sure. Again, he just keeps dangling a bone in front of Ratchet's face and then snatching it away. Hi, Moon. Moon. Oh. Batman. Oh, Laser Beak again. Oh, no, you're not Laser Beak. <laughs> not at all. And he's really not Batman. Okay. Decepticons must not be allowed to secure their target. I will engage the Predacon. 
I. Okay, your funeral. Now, why are we standing around? Let's go. Now, thank you. Oh, look, the little flag is still on top. So, I will just make like a Klingon and shoot it until it goes away. Wow, you're kind of a bad shot. <laughs> Optimus fighting a literal dragon, sort of. You wish you were this cool. You wish. You know what just occurred to me? They actually thought that Soundwave committed suicide right there on the table to get prevent them from getting inf any information. That's pretty dark. I mean, yeah, this show's known for being dark, but that's like super dark. Like actually disturbingly dark. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Break his jaw like in King Kong. Just go. <laughs> Double guns. Mother. You okay? Definitely not. Pull up, pull up. Ronsky Fent. I'm sure he's fine. Just walking off. It's just neck first landing. It's fine. Well, yeah, it's just a supposition. Hey. Yes, I'm quite purple. I love being purple. We will use sticks. And duct tape. Lots of duct tape. Something wrong? Oh! <laughs> well. It followed Fowler here. So, no trade. Nice! Ow. This always confused me. Is Laserbeak... Did he just get the info back? From Laserbeak? Oh, that was clever! I was confused me about Laserbeak. Is he a separate entity or just an extension of Soundwave? Is he like a Horcrux or like... <laughs> Dude, you'll stop just killing with your- Wait, was that a fire extinguisher? That's Jack's thing! Oh god, not the hentai, please god, no! Oh, that's it! I'm there! You assholes! Oh my god! They zapped Ratchet! Is there a promo coming up? Doesn't look like it. it. Looks like just the credits. No promo. That makes me very sad. Okay, so, things we learned from this episode. Sine wave is a cheeky dick. Ratchet cannot make hands. And Fowler is stealing moves from Jack. Oh, and Sine wave likes dubstep, apparently. Okay, that was... Pretty good. <laughs> I, uh, sound waves talking. Holy fuck. <laughs>
<laughs> just just that one thing, but oh, oh my god, sound wave, you dick. Okay, that's enough of that. I might leave a review. Maybe not. Don't wait for it. Depends on whether or not I feel like it. Hopefully, I will get the next video out on time because I do not think I'm going anywhere next weekend. Probably. This is Giant Keeper 19600 signing off. And remember, Sandwave Superior.